Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Playframe and Elden Ring DLC and the Bonnie Village with the Pots. It's going to be spooky and or upsetting here. I can tell already. We did, like, one of the earliest things we read out here was... Actually, it was one of the cookbooks. Where... Are they? Here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Gravekeepers, no. Da, 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 da. Potentates, that's the one. Lots of greater potentate cookbooks. Haunted by the grotesque practice of his village of birth, he stuffed great pots with all manner of things. Hmm. We did find another item somewhere. which mentioned Bonnie Village more specifically, and I think it was even in episode one, but I do not remember the item. Also, we... Yeah, we, we picked this up and I forgot to read it. The repeating crossbow. A mechanized crossbow that's been fitted with a fan-shaped contraption. This metallic piece adds a reloading system used in the execution of a unique battle art. Repeating fire. I've been hit by that quite a few times. Well, let's start looking around. Lots of pots, and it's looking very burned out here. Very burned. So probably not tons of survivors, though I expect what survivors remain... ...are going to be a problem. I would like very much for this to be a Jarberg, but I do not expect this is going to be a Jarberg. We got ghosts. So in the jails, we've seen the jars which contain sort of the uh, remains of prisoners who are stuffed in there that have kind of become these amalgams that attack just the big excuse me do you mind I was thinking stop it There. Yeah, we found those big flesh amalgam things, which were very upsetting. I'm wondering... Hello? I'm wondering what, if anything's going to be in the jars here, but now I'm wondering other things. Greater Potentate, hi. You are... I don't know what I expected, but you're not it. Hey, you dodged it. Clever. Sorry. Must you? Hmm. What can we piece together out here? Story-wise. The fact it's all burned basically suggests that Mesmer's crew got here and destroyed the place.
Please. I'm just passing through. And looting, admittedly. But you're ghosts. You can't take it with you. Everyone says this. The ghosts seem to most often exist in... Places which... Well, is it always places that the, like... Mesmer and company have gone and, uh... Done their rampaging? I guess we've seen ghosts down in the jails, too. But we have seen a lot of ghosts out and about, especially near the ruins of old settlements. And there's a large number of them here, it feels like, for the size of the village. Bonnie Butchering Knife. That I want to read about as soon as I'm sure ghosts aren't going to be a nuisance. Ghosts. Come on. What a good spell. Ghosts. Too many of you. Weapon of the Greater Potentates of Bonnie Village. An outsized butcher's cleaver used to dismember human bodies in the making of the great jars stored in the jails. Restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. Hone Blade. Perform a stroking action to sharpen the blade, honing its cutting edge and increasing the amount of HP recovered. The Greater Potentates treasure the tools of their practice. So this... I mean, they basically said as much before, but this is where the... Jars found in these jails are created and made. I wonder... Greater Potentate's Cookbook. So if that was the same Great Potentate who wrote all these cookbooks, I wonder why they're back here. Hmm. I'd sort of gotten the impression that they'd have left, and maybe they did. Maybe that's why they survived. And they're now just sort of back here, watching over the husk that remains of their old home. I honestly expected much worse threats than, uh... Ghosts and one... Equivalent of an invader. Hmm. This little gap's interesting. With the bridge out and everything. Oh. Lots of you. Oh, you're not the ones with the jars that, like, contain spells or whatever. You're, you're just having baskets. I see. Wait. Another one. Either you're more durable than I thought. Or there's more potentates around than I realized. Excuse me. Boy, those ghosts do get to be a problem. Nah.
Got a little close there. Stop it, ghosts. There we go. Stop it. Hmm. And there's another one, so... Yeah, I guess there's... Numerous people who hold the title. I do love the distance closing on that, uh... Unique skill on this sword, though. That is very cool. Ghosts, come on. You know how this ends. There. Back to exploring, then. We found any items? Okay, it was the hefty cracked pots that had the Bonnie Village, like, by, that called it by name. The greater potentates of Bonnie Village craft these and store them in a frozen jail. I see. So uh, they said potentates even that early on. That there are multiple. Craft these and store them in a frozen jail. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how the jar creation here relates to the jars we have out in the world. Like, there's not any notable or visible origin for the living jars in the lands between. Have we just been getting them all from here? Did there used to be a settlement where some of these potentates did their thing out in the lands between? And that's what's Jarberg now. So the potentates are all gone, it's just the jars running the place. And doing a much better job, frankly. They're planting flowers and just hanging out. I hadn't really considered, like, how much of what we find here in the Land of Shadow, how much of that, how much of what we'd been running into and seeing everywhere in the Lands Between, how much of that originated here? And was like brought back in some way. Hmm. We got a bridge across here. I feel like there's got to be more to find here, though. Let me try to give this place a more thorough once-over. Real quick, like... I'm not spotting anything else in the village itself. Although I also haven't really looked that thoroughly at the surroundings. There's a bridge here going south, another one going east, and then there's the little kind of river trench here. Through the center of town, plus some, uh, like, area up north. Hmm. And still a bunch of ghosts, despite all the fighting I've been doing. Ghost dogs as well. Yep. 
sturdy ones. Shockingly sturdy. For ghosts. Gimme. Thank you. So I know I saw more dogs down here, along with some of the bodies. Come on. You're hard to hit when you're that close. Human bone shards and living jar shards. Interesting. Um, what are you? Oh, a dog. Okay. Hold still. Must you. There. Cut that way too close. Gracious. Ooh, yes, please. My spirit ash were falling very behind. Still are. Well, that's the village itself. Unless I've missed something significant, which... wouldn't be the first time. Boy, I'm having a hard time seeing right now. For y'all, this has got to be... <laughs> a struggle. Apologies. Uh, let's... look north first, before crossing any bridges. Visibility is so bad out here right now. There's a tree. Ooh. Spooky tree. Spooky headless body with kind of like plant growth out of it. Oh, mother. Huh. Those don't usually have, like, descriptions, right? I don't think so. No, not really. Huh. I have no idea what to make of that. At least for the moment. Now, we've seen other trees that kind of look like this, but this feels even less complete than that. Usually they've got a lot more branches than this. Hmm. More mysteries. I might just go back to the bonfire and let time pass. Visibility is very bad. It'll bring all the ghosts back, but we can kind of bolt through town. Which bridge do we want to cross? I guess south first, right? Like, further east is leading to so much else. Yeah, south first. Now this is warp back. It does feel noteworthy that this place, construction-wise, looks really similar to, well, I was going to say Jarburg, and it, it does, and largely, largely just because of, like, the simple wooden shacks and all the jars everywhere, but the wooden shacks you kind of see in little, like, crumbly villages and houses 
all over the lands between. It's a pretty, it's a, an asset they reuse enough times that it's not Jarberg specific. So there's probably less of a connection there, really, to be drawing in a useful way. Still. Past time. Morning. Um. Well, it's better. <laughs> also. Dang. Got it up to level 10. Feels good. Okay. Let's sneak on through, not get the attention of too many ghosts, and try crossing a bridge. To where, I do not know. I don't even know what this location is. I do not know what to expect. Although the other place I saw a bunch of stuff like this was outside the Lamenters. Uh, it wasn't a jail, I don't think. Uh, okay, well, there's spider scorpions, so that's great. Uh, what is that place called? It was down here, it was... Oh, it was a jail. Okay. Outside the Lamenter's Jail is where I saw it last, and... Now I have to deal with this. Two of them, hooray! Goody, goody, goody. Kaboom! Ho, 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 wow. Nah, you were bigger. I hate it. The other one, like, exploded when I did that, though, so that's a lot of damage I can do to y'all, and that makes me happy. Yep, yeah, that probably hurts so bad. Please, no. Okay. I don't like whatever you're doing. Yeah! Hate him. They're great in the worst way. Excellent enemy for these kinds of games. Which I will always hate looking at and be glad when they're dead. Some souls enemies are just like that. And that's all pretty and I see we're going to be able to get down there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I guess we could have guessed that much, but... Hmm. How are we getting down there? And how many more spider scorpions am I... about to be walking right into? I refuse to believe that was all of them. Oh, good. Here we go. And here is the jail where we will find... hundreds of spider scorpions, no doubt. My lucky day. All right. No sense putting it off. Let us accept our fate. In the Bonnie Jail. Oh yeah, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Definitely gonna have some pottery storage down here, in the worst way. If I had to guess. Can't get a... nope, not yet. Soon. Alright. Let's go lay down the law. That didn't take long. Is 
This feels like bait. Not falling for it. Who is back here? Who is going to try to... Mm. Fine. I'll deal with this first. Nope. Not that. This. Kaboom! Boy, that does some damage. Thrilled every time to see the big numbers from that explosion. And... Yep. 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 Ha! Huh. That's what you get. Delicious. I wonder what new dragon powers we might be able to get out here, if any. There was really, other than the bale specific stuff, there was just the one new ghost flame breath. Attack. Ooh, there's going to be a big named ghost flame dragon out here. Because that's usually the trend, right? Like, there's the, um, this is a not safe place to be doing this, but there's usually a kind of like minor unnamed version like Rotten Breath and then there is Exekis Decay like the bigger version of that spell that you get named after a specific dragon that you fight Glintstone Breath and Smarog's Glintstone Breath Dragon Ice and Borealis's Mist so we now have Ghost Flame Breath and then again the art is more similar to the second stage. Ah, who knows, but... We're getting more dragon hearts, is my point. I feel like there's going to be more dragon breath incantations to find. And I'd love to find them. Excuse me. My adoring fans. Please don't. It was funny how all three of them just sort of dogpiled me from around the corner. Yes, like that. No blocking that with the shield, no matter how great, I suppose. No. Ooh. Gonna hate what's down there, I bet. Let's find out if I'm right. Whee! Hmm. Honestly, could have been worse. The bar for worse is very low in Soulsborn worlds. <laughs> or high, I guess, depending on how you want to define it. I'm dealing with rats right now. I will let you all figure out the right way to say things. You can't expect me to say words and play video games at the same time. That's ridiculous. I am liking this sword. It feels like I'm doing magic damage from like the effects that are flying everywhere. Or uh, I thought it was doing like lightning damage from the effects I'm seeing with like that explosion and everything, but... What does it say again? It is magic damage. Which is pretty cool. And it's not like... Not really requiring intelligence... To scale it at all. Yeah, I like it. Good sword. Hmm... 
Okay, we've got an exit. There's nothing else down here, right? Well? All right. Anything else else down here? Before I leave. I hope that we at least get an announcement or reveal in the near future as to what From is doing next. Not that I... Like, I'm fine waiting however many years they need to finish their next thing. That's fine. I just, I want to know what I can be looking forward to. Whatever it is, is no doubt worth looking forward to. Stop it. Your whole deal is terrible. And I know you didn't want this either, but you don't have to make it my problem. Ooh. Stalwart Horn Charm 2. Ceremonial accoutrement worn by Horn Scent vastly raises robustness, uh, which governs resilience to blood loss and frost. Horns are sublime artifacts to Horn Scent, and their presence confirms the belief that they are a chosen people. Only the repeated sprouting of fresh horns can create a tangle horn, which is viewed as an irrefutable symbol of primacy. Okay. Okay. Not sure where I am anymore. Okay. I have found my bearings again. Only now I'm not entirely sure where to head next. So we went down there. Came back up. What other path have I missed? Oh no. I found the path. Okay. Okay. At least this one's an elevator. Whee! Alright. Anyone else? Feels kind of suspicious, only spotting one ghost in here. I guess I should be grateful. Uh-huh. Kaboom! Don't. Yes? Nope. Now that seems unfair. <laughs> I guess I can do similar things, so... Only reasonable. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to do a little more platforming. Not from there, though. Hmm. This, I assume, will, yeah, call the elevator back down, which is fine, but... 
There's got to be something else in here. Got to be. And if only, if only the group message thing had been patched. I'm really shocked they haven't fixed that yet. Hmm. Didn't think so, but worth a try. Is there really nothing else down here? Okay. Okay. Hmm. There's definitely a lot more to this jail. Just gotta figure out how to... Oh, um, is this taking... No, no. I was wondering, is this gonna keep going up? Okay. What have I missed? Dropped down here, explored it pretty thoroughly, I thought. But maybe I didn't go all the way down this direction. Maybe? Yep. Figured it out. Oof. Holy does not hurt these as much as I'd like. Maybe whatever my sword does. Perhaps. Not really. Hmm. Even that's pretty underwhelming. Could try that. I don't have high hopes. Yeah, not really. Need effect, but not really. What about golden arcs? Ooh, that's kind of cool, but no. I think these are my best bet. These and just bypassing them. I bet this electro charge is such a nuisance in PvP. Thanks for that. Um, kind of hoped there'd be more back here, but okay. Hey, here we go. Here's something. Sorry for the flashing. Those of you who have some photosensitivity, I'd not really thought that all the way through. <laughs> In this dark location. Nope. Thanks for that. Here we go. Pretty wild how our tarnished just gets so numb to the experience of just walking on a pile of corpses. Terrain built out of the dead. It's a weekly experience for us, at least. Routine. Yep, thought you were waking up. Big hits. Bigots. I always feel bad breaking them. 
even though some of them definitely deserve it. But hopefully we can bypass a few. Be nice. This is why we can't always be nice. Okay, we've been there, been here, been there. I think we've seen all this over here as well. Just making sure. Yes, that's where we came in. Fantastic. All right. Come on. Let me be. There's a place to drop down. I thought I saw something else over here. Maybe that's my imagination. It's up there. Not entirely sure how to get up there. Come on, you guys. Ah ya. No, little guy, come on. Let's just drop it. Yeah, no way we can run and jump up there. Hmm. From up there, maybe. Okay. Down we go. And now we are wherever here is. Hello. Little guy, you didn't have to follow down here. Come on. <sighs> I was trying to be merciful. Nice. Good. Please stop. There we go. <sighs> Fine. You leave me no choice. I didn't ask for this. Jail sucks. Not a fan. Ah, oh, whiff. And there we go. Okay. Boy, this place is big. We're getting through it. Slowly, but it's so large. So very, very large. No. Please stop. Okay, y'all are being cool for the moment. Keep it that way. Stop it. Let go. Hmm. Surprised. I thought I was going to need to find a key somewhere. Oh, maybe this is opening up. 
a uh, shortcut. Maybe? Um, huh. I mean, it might still be opening up a shortcut. I'll check that in a minute. I know I've said it multiple times, but man, even these minor little mini dungeons are large now. So easy to get lost. And miss little nooks and crannies. Okay, let's try the elevator. I think... I've covered this part. Yep. Oh. I thought it was going to take me up. Works for me. Well. Who all is going to be a problem? You and... Oh, two of you. Good. Good, 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 good. Love it. Boy, I'd have left Bonnie Village, too. Bad hometown. We've almost made it to the boss. And I hope we do well, because boy, what a run to get back here. I guess that's what the stakes of America are for. Boom! Die. Nope. Nope. Okay. I have no idea what to expect in here. As an encounter. Um... Sure, Yosh. Give it a go. Oh. Oh. Curse Blade Labyrinth. Go. Hi. Sneaky. All right. That whiffed. Hopefully, Yosha's agility sort of matches theirs. They don't have a lot of HP, so that's nice. Boy, they fast. And they grab. And they throw. In cool ways. Save me, Yosh. Ah, almost got the explosion off. That would have ended it, too. Nice. Boom, there you go. Yeah. Curse Blade Mira. Now that could be a fun... Spirit Ash to summon. Explain yourself. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirit of Curse Blade Mira. Attacks immediately after being summoned. <laughs> I believe it. Curse Blades appear to dance when they spin their shimmering circular blades. These ascetics, who failed to become tutelary deities, were a scourge for those who attempted to invade the Hornsent homeland. Long ago, before the land was overshadowed by invasion, the scourge was shunned, and the curse blades were imprisoned. It was during this confinement that Mira met Labyrinth, and upon her death, Labyrinth was plunged into a devastating darkness. Hmm. So Labyrinth is who we just fought, Mira is who we're getting to summon. Kind of similar to how Yosh works. I forget the name of the one we've fought, but it wasn't Yosh themselves, I don't think. 
Or maybe it was. It's been a little bit now. Y'all remember. Anyway, whew! Jail over. Let's leave jail. Super ready to be free of jail. And to get this level, we've earned. Yeah. Keep that faith a going. All right. So, what are we going to be doing tomorrow? There might not be a ton more actually to be explored here. This might be about it. We'll, we'll look around a little bit, but we might just be going right back over here and then across that bridge instead, I think. Yeah. Because there's nothing else really to look at around here without going further up toward the keep. And I'd prefer wait a little bit. Or at least look at everything else first. All right. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for more out here. Who knows what we'll find? I'm very excited. Boy, it's pretty back there. So pretty. All right. See you all tomorrow for more Elden Ring. Goodbye. Goodbye.